Welcome to another edition of Get Victory. I'm Ed Crenshaw, pastor of Victory Church, Philadelphia, and we're honored that you have joined us for this moment of encouragement. Hey everybody, thank you for joining me in my living room today. Uh, it's turned into a bit of a, a film studio, I guess. Um, I do hope your summer is going pretty well. We're about halfway through, heading toward Labor Day. I'd like to ask you a question though. Do you think marriage is meant to make you happy or do you think it's meant to make you holy? Well, a lot of Christian speakers and writers are saying that marriage is really there to make us holy. Why not happy? Well, there are a couple reasons that we shouldn't just seek happiness in marriage. First of all, in any healthy relationship, asking someone to make us happy is way too great a burden for that relationship to bear. And secondly, if you are a follower of Jesus, the scripture is very clear that with, uh, with um, relationships, um, we are not only to um, enjoy them, but we're supposed to seek the best interests of others. So happiness is not the bottom line, I don't think. So happy or holy? Mm, my answer is yes, both. Marriage is a great blessing. My husband and I have been married for 33 years and uh, we've shared so many wonderful adventures together, had so much fun, and we just really enjoy each other's company. And now that we're married 33 years, I'd say we probably enjoy each other more than ever. But uh, along with happiness, again, uh, marriage is a gift to make us happy, but also marriage is a gift to make us holy if we'll let it. God will work in any area of your life that you're willing to let it. And I would say in our context today, in our culture, Far too many people say, this marriage isn't working. It's making me angry. I'm not happy. And so they bail and move on to something else. Well, I'd like you to consider today that um, perhaps these frustrations, this anger, this pain, these places where your relationship is just stuck might possibly just be invitations from God to do some work in you. Now, we're all home during the pandemic. Many of us are working at home with our spouses, sitting across a table or together all the time. Someone told me it's kind of a, um, a preview of retirement, I don't know, but we are face to face with that relationship a lot more now than we have been in the past. In the past, perhaps you've been able to avoid some problems in your marriage. Well, we ain't avoiding them now with this pandemic. Well, let me encourage you. If you will stop and look at the pain, the frustration, the anger, again, the areas where you just feel stuck and see it as an invitation from God himself for you to grow, change your perspective on these challenges. Um, first of all, we have to be willing to change. Um, if I'm not happy in my marriage, I can't just ask my husband to change. I have to look within and work with God and take a few other steps and I need to change. But hey, how about if you change together? So today, what can you do to make your marriage holier? And I believe as you work to make it holier, it will also be far happier. So sit down, look at yourself, think about where your marriage is. Secondly, sit down with your spouse and actually have a conversation about one thing that you would love to see change. One thing, don't bring out a list. One thing that you would love to see change in order to have a better relationship. Proverbs 27, 17 says, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Let your marriage partner sharpen you, become more holy, more like Jesus, and you will become happier. So what can you do? First of all, I would say, have a conversation with your spouse. Secondly, I would also like to suggest counseling. In the past, counseling has been for the weak, but today, counseling is for the wise. If you need a list of counselors, email me at lisa at getvictory.net and let's get started. Secondly, this fall, we'll be offering a few, few marriage life groups that will be really helping you grow in your marriage. Those groups are not just for people who have big problems in their marriage. Those are for smart people who want to keep their marriage healthy. So let me close by praying. Father, I thank you for the marriages, the married people that are listening to this conversation. And I trust you, God, to speak through it. Lord, I pray every single person here would just hear the invitation of the Holy Spirit to grow, to see things change, to change themselves and become more like Jesus. And I pray, Father, that each of us would take a next step toward holiness and therefore happiness. Bless this person, give them hope, and give them um, the courage to act in Jesus' name. I trust this word has been a source of strength and comfort. During this trying time, our church is bringing you these words every day, Tuesday through Saturday. 
Also, you can join us online for interactive live stream services throughout the day and evening on Sunday starting at 9 a.m. and then on Monday at 7 p.m. You can find the links to all the online resources to stay connected as God's family at getvictory.net. Until next time, let's stay in God's presence and peace.